Hey, Deanna. Well, Governor Glenn Youngkin pushed for a big new investment in school resource officers, and now we're just starting to see the results of that. But some advocates argue that all of that money should be going elsewhere. As kids head back to the classroom, new school resource officers in the hallway. This summer, the General Assembly approving an additional $45 million over two years to pay for it. Roughly $15 million has been given out so far, supporting 185 positions, according to Tracy Matthews with the Virginia Department of Criminal Justice Services. We're seeing a lot of interest in it when we weren't seeing it before. But many schools still going without. The most recent state data shows 750 five Virginia schools, or 36% of them, do not have a school resource officer. The vast majority are elementary schools. Getting a grant now does not guarantee funding in the future. So if money runs low, there's a plan to prioritize applications. Localities that are requesting funding for middle and high schools are our number one priority. And then localities that are requesting funding for which there's no personnel in that position at all. Attorney General Jason Biarez backed a so far failed push to require a school resource officer in every building, and he's hoping to see it revisited down the road. Miarez says those officers should be armed. They have too many individuals in the school that right now are preying on innocent uh, fellow Virginians and their, their kids in the schools, and we want to make sure they're protected. But some argue the state should not spend more money on policing schools, but instead social workers and counselors that can help students cope with trauma. Here's Valerie Slater with the advocacy group Rise for Youth. Arresting them and criminalizing them does not do that. That instills fear in the hearts of children. Is that really what we want in the learning environment? Now, this round of applications for these school resource officer grants will remain open until September 9th. Now, notably, unlike other programs like this, localities are not being asked to provide a match to the state's funding to get this money, although that requirement is expected to resume in the next fiscal year. Live at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco, A News.